Hi, today I am making two different styles of scrub caps. The first one has a, a tie in the back and is adjustable. Although at the front is meant to lie flat along your forehead and you can make it as tight as you want or as loose as, it, as you want um, while still being flat along the forehead, which is a great option. No elastic needed on that one. The second one does have an 18 inch piece of elastic inside a casing. Super stretchy, super comfy. Um, both are great, great versions and super fun, super easy and uh, very comfy. So let's get started. In total, you're going to need for each hat you're going to need three circles that measure 40 centimeters in diameter. This is the pattern that I used. I cut on the quarters. And out of the three pieces, this is the second pattern that you need. You need uh, nine centimeters. And you cut two. Cut two of these pieces, right sides together, and uh, try not to move the fabric too much. And what you're going to do is, with the quarter inch seam allowance, you can uh, back stitch at the beginning and back stitch at the end, and leave a one inch opening. So um, I did my stitching and you left a one inch opening. Now that's going to come in very, very handy. That's where we uh, put our drawstring in. Um, you can take your scissors and cut these little notches. Try not, to, try not to cut the thread or the the, the stitching. So you do that all along the inside circle and that's what it's supposed to look like. The more notches that you put in it, the easier it's going to be. And at the, at the inch where you didn't sew, do not cut any notches. That's going to, um, you're going to see in a little bit when we work on the opening. Now uh, turn it right sides out. You're going to take it and iron it and press it so it's laying nice and flat. And let's work on this opening. So the opening, what I want to do is enclose it. So you're going to stitch, making sure um, you, you back stitch. I also used a zigzag stitch to to close up the um, the fabric so it wouldn't fray. So there's your opening, nice and secure, so it's not going to to, um, to rip any seams. At this point, you can do a top stitch, but I, I don't do a top stitch. Um, <clears throat> the top stitch that I do use is um, an inch from the edge, depending on the type of uh, what size drawstring you want, but um, that's what I use. I use an inch. Now you take your other piece of uh, your circle and you line it up. Fits flat and perfectly. At that point, you don't. It doesn't matter what's right side or wrong side. Um, so you're gonna take it to the machine and you're gonna sew it. I had a serger. But if you don't have a serger, you can do a top stitch, a quarter seam, seam allowance, and then zigzag along the edges to close in um, your 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 fabric so it doesn't fray. And at this point, you could turn it right sides out, and you can see it's starting to take shape. Very nice, very easy, super fast. Um, for the string. I you I did use a two inch 
there it is it's 36 inches uh, wide and then to um, basically I took this strip of fabric it's two inches and then I, I folded and made it super easy now uh, you can take your safety pin and just thread it You thread it through, being careful um, not to lose that edge, that end, the other end, which uh, it's super, the string is super long. It's 36 inches long, so it's not going to get swallowed up. So what I did right here was I was trying to straighten out the, the string, the drawstring, and straighten it out marking the half point at the front finding the front and finding the back and from the front I measured four inches on each side um, there you go four inches and I pinned it and that's where you're going to be placing your stitches so that it doesn't move you have to make sure that it's not turned or or else it's it's going to feel lumpy. So make sure your string on the inside is nice and flat. So go ahead and uh what I did was I I stitched it back stitching and securing it in place. And then there you go. Super fast, super easy and you can pull it as tight as you want and it looks super awesome it looks great 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 version if you don't have any elastic and the tie is long enough to tie and make a bow but uh, I, I, I couldn't work on it. <laughs> All right, so let's get started on the second version. So here's the casing for the second version. There it is. In this version, you don't need to secure that opening. You make your casing, again, an inch from the edge, and you close it. You close it completely. And then you can lie your third piece of fabric over and sew it down. Then you can thread your elastic through. Now threading your elastic through is the easy part, making sure that you don't pull uh, the elastic all the way through, otherwise you'd have to fish it out. So there I, I pinned them both together so I can kind of adjust it and play with it and make sure that the elastic was not twisted. And here I was fixing it. Um, you're gonna take that to the machine, zigzag. I zigzag two lines just to make sure it was secured it wasn't going anywhere now you can pull that nice and taut should pop in and then enclose it with the top stitch there it, and uh, it's super super fast super easy and there you go adjustable well, this one isn't too adjustable. Uh, the fits fits perfectly. Excuse my finger. <laughs> All right, 
both are great great versions super easy versions um, please let me know if you tried it if and if it's gonna work for you uh, if you have any questions leave them leave them in a the comment below and uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible thanks so much bye